2006 BMW 3 Series. We're going to program the key and go to BMW. You will need to connect the internet in order to program this key because it's going to back up the key data into the server. So we're going to go to read key information. So here's the cast number, the cast type, and then the key code for it. So right now it's going to save the data into the server. So you just put whatever the VIN number it is, click OK, now it's saved. Now I go to key matching. Now it's pulling information from the server and putting it into a tablet. So all the key values and all the slots. Using this BMW will be key position 1 through 10. So here it is, so key one or to pre-code it and what key track has been enabled or disabled. So all of this has been enabled. So most times if you only see two, maybe three, so when you make a key, you can always put it at key eight or nine. So if customer buys the key from a dealer, they buy it from the next slot up, which is going to be four. If you put in four and the customer buys it from the key because it's it's pretty pre-coded, it won't work. And the customer might, well don't well don't know what's going on. But really it's because you already wrote over this key that they buy from a dealer. So it's best to put in the lowest one. So I put nine. So we select nine, click OBD generate key. It's asking if it's key position nine, yes. Continue. Chip, which is standalone transpire chip. Remote key, which is I do have, brand new one, and a smart key, which is for keyless go. So in this case, we're going to be the remote key. Put the key into case 100. So it chips on the front part of the key right here. So we're going to put it face down and click yes. Pre processing finished. That means it's pre coded. So put the pre-coded key into a slot it's okay remove the key from the slot insert again and press the start button success so now So right now it's sending it back the key that we just programmed back in the server so you know what it is. So now you see all in slot 9 it is actually used. This is the key value of this key and the pre-code so you know it's used. So now we got the customer's key. When we read it, it was actually on key 3 on this one. So now we got key 9. So both of it is already programmed onto it so you can see it works as well so KC 100 generate spare key is just just a transpire chip just to start the car up but not to have the remote option unlock key is only if you're unlocking a customer's key not a used key from another car and delete key position is to delete the one that's been programmed so if you unlocked it you can delete that key position so if you unlock 9, so this remote doesn't work and delete it, now you can program another one on there. So that's pretty much what it is. And that's pretty much it. All of it from there. So we actually programmed the key for BMW. That's about it.